he actually had to go for like a checkup, and then there was like a three lab evacuation wow. where everyone had to like get out because if not we'll get like poison. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm Isabel. I'm Clarice. I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Leah, and this is Zula Chick Chats. So welcome to today's episode of Chick Chats. And in today's episode, we are going to be talking about the IB program and like the culture around it. Uh, first of all, can you all please let me know what is this IB program about? And what does it stand for? <laughs> IB is the International Baccalaureate. <laughs> <laughs> is that actually okay. how you pronounce it? Yeah, we Google. So yeah, it's wrong like, now for in Google. Google. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what schools were you guys from? I was from SGI. I was from Sports School. Ooh. I was from ACS Independent. What made y'all want to like apply for this program actually? I didn't really have much of a choice. I was in IP. Oh, see. I was on the way to Unoya JC. And then in Sec 4, my parents didn't want me to go. And I decided to choose SGI because the IB program is like very holistic. For me, it was like, it's not so in-depth as her. Like going to sports school, I had this through train option. Uh, so that means I didn't take O levels. I see. And then I just went straight into IB. I applied for IP mm. and MG and then like the first thing that caught my eye about MG is that oh I can go overseas then I was like okay yeah I want to go <laughs> there's a lot of experiences that you can do when you uh. go to IB uh, okay. and I was like okay yeah I'm sold Fun fact is that I have never um, even looked at this IB program <laughs> I just thought it was special stream but actually anybody can apply lah in yeah. that sense Okay yeah. great I didn't know that <laughs> So moving forward from that, we'll talk a bit about your IB kind of experience. How is it also very different from our local school curriculum? You basically take six subjects, um, mm. main subjects, three higher level subjects and three standard level subjects. On top of that, you have these two extra subjects uh, called EE and TOK, Extended Essay and Theory of Knowledge. It's kind of like your PW and GP in mm. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Like Just say like we do a different thing. If I look back now and think of it as a whole, I think it was really like more suited for me mm. because I'm more of a breadth person, which is IB, mm. as compared to like depth, mm. which is A levels. Mm, 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 so like A levels, they will go like really deep into the subject. Yeah. But for us, we will have like more concepts and more like topics. Yeah. There would be stuff like business management that you can oh, take okay. compared to econs. The international schools they offer psychology in terms of like a school culture, like how are the classes conducted. For my school, we had intake classes and non-intake classes. So the intake classes, because of their standard subject combi, they don't need to move around as much because they have a solid oh, group to have classes class in. Class yeah, class correct. Class okay, okay, but then for the rest of us, like, Liu Lang Han, we just like run around every lesson and then we run here, run there, run here, run there. And my batch only had like 14 people. Oh. And all of us were like different. Yeah. So like, for example, HL Math, right? There was only three of us. Okay. Oh my God. Then for SL Econs, I was the only student. On a good day, if I finish my stuff fast, then like, oh, can leave like 20 It's like tuition. Early. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Mine is like kind of in the middle of both of yours. Was it very hard to cope with your curriculum like that? Or do you think it's much easier as compared to like what you hear about people doing A-levels, people studying in poly. Admittedly, it is a very rigorous program. You have like your deadlines from school, then you have your deadlines from the actual IBO. But I think it came to a point where it was enjoyable for us. They actually give you quite a lot of freedom when it comes to coming up your subjects. Because I'm a Langlit student, we can choose whatever text type we want to do on. So like I had friends who would do like Drake raps with all the F-bombs everything and they'll present it from their teacher, mm. that kind. Yeah. Yeah, and then for me, like I, I did... <laughs> so, <laughs> damn, yeah. so open! Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then all my friends are going about like, hey, you know how my Drake rap, like F this, F that. And then like I go in front of my teacher and then like, yeah, I got A, man. What? <laughs> Yeah, oh so shit! Like yeah. the fact that like you get to even choose your pieces that you want to work yeah, on. Yeah. There's a lot of creativity mm-hmm. in it, like, which I feel that is that is what like the current Singapore, like, I mean like the yeah. usual curriculum lacks yeah. like for IB, right? It's okay not to get hundred percent good results. Yes. Because oh. at the end of the day you have to reflect and then you mm. evaluate oh what went wrong, what could mm. be done better. So you have, have to, to reflect improve. on every yeah. internal the, assessment. The reflection yeah. is actually a big part of the assessment. Mm. For me like I didn't have such a fun time as before. <laughs> <before. laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I had a big problem like balancing my own priorities. Mm-hmm. Just cause also I throw on a lot of cases, right? So instead of like studying or doing my IAs properly, then I'll do my cast, then after that I'll like leave it to the last minute then I'll struggle. Mm. Okay, so uh Isabel you mentioned you a uh, lot about a CAS <laughs> or CAS, right? Can you please uh, let us know what is this about? Okay, so CAS is basically the same thing as CCAs. Yeah. CAS? Which is Creativity Action Service. Okay. You spend two years finishing all of this. As long as you go for something once or twice a week, you're gonna fulfill it very, very easily. It becomes like how much do you actually want to do it? Most of my friends came from 
like my, my different classes and stuff especially because you don't get to meet so many people to your classes since like your class is not really set for every single subject ah. right one constant community that you get to enjoy and be a part of is like the people in your class what are some uh, interesting stories or things that happened in your school? I was doing an experiment next to my friend. So my experiment was not going well. I was supposed to get like a liquid at the end of the distillation. Yeah. And then when I came back to it like half an hour later, I got like a ball of plasticine at the bottom there. And then okay. I was just like poking it around. I'm like, what the hell do I do with this? You know, then I asked my teacher, can I still use this as results? Then she was like, yeah, you can use it in your reflection to show how you did badly. And I was like... <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, cool. Then suddenly I smell like a very pungent smell on my nose. And I'm like, what is going on? So I turned to my friend. And then the two of us turned to look at this guy in the middle. We're like, what's that smell? Uh? Is that chlorine? Then he was like, yeah, I think my experiment went wrong. I think I just released a shit ton of chlorine gas. And <laughs> so, so he inhaled a big part of it and he actually had to go for like a checkup. And then there was like a three lab evacuation where everyone had to like get out because if not, we'll get like poisoned. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are school even allow this kind of experiments to go on? Dude, my school is like titrate the thing and then off only, you know. Like I never even do anything besides plot the graph. Eh. So how is exactly is like the culture? Like they all have like very like you're very big on like community spirit, like mm. in the school and stuff. For uh for AC, people think that it's very cutthroat, very like, oh um, I must be better than you kind of thing. But actually, like there's a very family kampong spirit in the school. We had IB for year, which was where we would study. And then you would have people going over in their free time to teach other people how to do things. And they won't just like give you the answer kind and then faster get back to their work. They'll make sure like you understand and like, do it. The best part about studying the IB for year was waffle runs. There's a bakery opposite our school. Mm. And then we would like collate orders. Then like when someone's going on a break, they'll run over to the bakery and then collate everyone's waffles. <laughs> All the flavors. Oh, it's like, so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how many kaya, how many chocolate, how many peanut butter. I remember there was this girl, she didn't know how to write her TOK essay. So oh. it was like the day of the deadline. It was due at like 5 pm or something like that. Oh, so she insane. was sitting in the canteen freaking out. And then <laughs> most people had submitted already. So then yeah. she like had a whole crowd formed around her. Then everybody helped her write her TOK oh. essay. Oh. Which was so nice. Then in yeah. the end, she managed to submit. Nice. So nice. it's like, that kind of community spirit. Yeah, everyone's just yeah. losing their minds together mm. in IB, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it forms like some kind of bond. Eh. It, it, it mm. does. There's like IB mm. meme pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just dedicated to the struggles of IB. Because IB is such like a big thing. Yeah, like, yeah, a lot, yeah. like people all over the yeah. world take IB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so like there will be people who will post videos on YouTube yeah, of like yeah. their review. Them <laughs> reacting to their result. People like to make fun of these girls because they'll sit there and they'll be like, so I was predicting like a 7 for my TOK. So I'm hoping I get that. And yeah. then they'll open it up and they'll be like, Oh, oh my god, god. I got a three. <laughs> and, then, and then they'll be like, Aya, um, no, they won't say Aya. Aya, what you thinking? They'll be like, they'll be like Oh, but it's okay. Like, yeah. overall, I think I still did well. Yeah. And then all the Singaporeans watching will be like, <laughs> It's the standard in mm. Singapore. Because the max is 45. So yeah. at least like a high 30 something. Mm -hmm. If you're like a better student, you will be expected to get 40 and above. So yeah. to get into like a local uni here, what is the score? It depends on the course also. Oh. Medicine now is 42. Some of the others will be like 37 minim minimally. Unis also are shunning the 45 pointers because there's like the stigma that like, oh, you know, you're only studying. That's why you can get a 45. Huh, isn't that basically JC? So after this whole IB program, like y'all have graduated already, right? I guess the plan is to go into uni. Mm -hmm. You are already in uni, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can talk a bit about like the transition from like IB program to like local university. What is it to expect? Is there like, a lot of differences like, in terms of curriculum and everything? First of all, I was in NUS pharmacy. Then yeah. I moved on to NTU mass comms. Okay. But I'll just talk about like, NUS pharmacy first. When it comes to like maybe the subjects and the topics, we have a little bit of an edge. HL Bio has like physiology but like it's not so in-depth in A-levels mm. but then when it comes to chemistry the IB students really struggle a lot we just touch base only yeah. only know that six ring shit going on to like uni application right yeah I think mm. it's easier as an IB student compared to A-levels the bell curve is a bit more rounded I see even though like Singapore IB students are quite intense yeah. Yeah. but like A-levels is like Singaporeans and Singaporeans only have you applied to uni yet? yes yeah so how is like the process like everything for you I really wanted to go to UK so I applied there first and then I also applied to like the local uni the thing about 
like UK applications is that they say it has to be very academic focus compared to like local unis who look for more about you yourself your co-curricular activities but then in IB it's like cause you get to choose what you want to study mm. and everything it becomes very personalised so it also gives you like a lot more to say and it makes you seem more interesting I think my writing skills were really honed from IB okay so it really helped in the applications in thinking clearly critically and like what what the people are looking out for so actually the last question is any advice for people who uh, want to go to IB slash are in IB now slash don't know what to do after IB <laughs> I think really go to the IBO website and look at the subjects that you can take and, and the subject requirements that your future uni subjects might need if you're actually mm. taking IB already ask your seniors how's the workload and mm. like how mm. easy is it to score Come that yeah. being said right you really you can't choose subjects also just because they're easy to score mm. in because mm. I know like some people in um, other schools who took like what uh HL Lit, HL uh, Dance, and Ooh. HL Music. She was a 45 pointer if I'm not wrong. Yeah. When it came to getting into courses, like she really found it very difficult to get the courses and get the scholarships because they also look at the your subject. One mistake I made, which I hope you all don't make, is that don't procrastinate and yes. leave Oh my god, don't <laughs> procrastinate. June of your second year. <laughs> now, April, May, right? If you're year one, you start ASAP. Yeah. If you're year <laughs> two, properly. what are you doing? Yeah. Come on, man, get your shit together. <laughs> okay, yeah. with that said, I think we can conclude the episode here. <laughs> much anger and much advice. So, yeah, if you guys like this episode on IB culture, leave in the comments down below what you like about it. If you can relate, please feel free to share your stories and also let us know what else to talk about next time. And the Forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. 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 <laughs>